In this video, we will cover the difference between structured output and JSON mode of OpenAI and we will also go over the sample code to see how to implement it. Let's first go over the JSON mode. Once you enable the JSON mode, the model output is ensured to be valid JSON. But the JSON mode will not guarantee the output matches any specific schema. Only that it is valid and passed without errors. Also, the JSON mode is available with multiple models. It has been here for a while now. So you can enable JSON mode in GPT 3.5 Turbo, GPT-4 model, GPT-4O models as well. Structured output is also ensured the output to be a valid JSON, but on top of that, it will also guarantee that the output adheres to the given custom schema, which is not possible with the JSON mode. Also, because the structured output has been recently introduced, so you can use it with the newer age of models like GPT-4O mini and these models. As per the open air documentation, you can see while JSON mode ensure that the model output is a valid JSON, the structured output reliably matches the model's output to the schema you specify and they are recommending to use the structured output if it is supported for your use case. So under structured output also there are two options. One is tool support and this is going to be useful when we are trying to connect to external API and other tools for data system and other option what we have is a response format. Response format would be useful when you want to generate a structured output to the end user. So these are the two ways you can use it. I have already covered a sample application how to invoke these two functions functionality. I will provide that link in the description. Now in this video, we are going to go over the sample code of all this mode and we'll see like how to enable all these functionalities. First thing what we are going to try on is going to be JSON mode. So actually we are just going to run this code without enabling any kind of mode and we'll see like what response are we going to get. We are just invoking our client from OpenAI and then calling this chat completion create passing the model as GPT-4 O mini and then we are just passing a messages over here and in the message I am just saying okay please provide a sample book name along with author and genre in the JSON format and then we are just printing a response over here so let me just go ahead and run this code here is a sample book in the JSON format you can see it's coming with the triple coded JSON at the top and the bottom and internal we do have the details now this is coming just by prompting now we want to make sure only valid JSON is going to come out of it so what we can do we can enable the JSON mode and for that we can just code here and just pass fonts format and here we have to pass type and under this type we have to pass json object now this enable the json mode in this case and we shouldn't be getting output where we are getting all this triple quote json so let me just go ahead and try to run this code and now you can see we are getting proper json and we are not getting like any string at the top at the bottom this is how actually you can enable the json mode just by passing the response format as type and under that type as a key and json object as a value this would cover this particular json mode now we are going to go to structured output and in the structured output also we have covered the response format so now we will go to another code and here what would happen whenever we are talking about the structured output we have to define the schema because structured output says like okay the output is going to be valid json but it also adheres to the given custom schema so in this case how you can define your custom schema you can define it using this pydenty classes and in this case you can see i have defined a very simple book class and we have to enable this base model so that we can convert it into a pydenty and this base model is going to come from this Pydentic package and after that you can see I have just provided a doc string where I've just mentioned okay what this class is doing so it is going to provide a book details so the schema what I'm passing it should contain title author and genre and after that I'm using this particular endpoint where it's going to be a bit different what we have seen in the JSON mode in JSON mode it was client chat completion dot create whereas in the response format it is going to be client dot beta dot chat dot completion dot parse under parse we are going to get all these options so the option what I'm using under here is going to be response format and under this response format then you just have to pass your class so here we are not enabling any kind of you know JSON object or we are not passing any kind of type under it we are just passing our identity class which we have defined over here this identity class is having like all these fields which is going to be considered as a schema no changes over here we still have to go to message dot content sections to get the output so I can just go over here and I can 
can just try to run it and you can see like we have got the output it's coming in the json format and it's coming in the given schema so only the field which we have specified over here only that output is coming whereas in the json mode we were just asking our model to provide the output in the valid json but we were not controlling the schema we had provided few details around it via prompt but we were not able to control it so that's why when the output is coming it's coming along with book title author genre in the structured output case we can control what we are going to get in the output so we have these three fields which we have defined and only these three fields are coming in the output and you can also see like when i'm passing my prompt i haven't asked to provide a genre i just ask okay please write a sample book name along with author but because genre is a part of our schema which we have provided so we are also getting that in the output that's why actually the structured output is very powerful and here we are using the response format because we are trying to provide the output to the end user so other use case what we have is this tool support which we have talked about now this tool support would be valid for the scenario where we want to invoke another functions or api to provide a demo for it what we did we have created a sample book.json file over here this is going to have title author and genre and there are around like 10 rows in it and on top of that we have written one util function this function what is doing you can just provide a genre name and based on the genre name it's going to open this particular book.json file and then it's going to look for a genre which is provided over here and if the genre matches with what we have in the file then those entries are going to be fetched out in a list and it will just print those details now why i have created this function because we wanted to trigger this function via this tool support in the structured output here also we are going to use the similar schema because wherever we are planning to use the structured output we have to provide our custom schema so the schema is going to be same the additional detail what i did over here is i am just passing a system prompt specifically because there could be a certain cases where model may not call the provided tool so as part of this demo i want llm model to call the provided tools so we are just specifically passing those instructions over here and what we are saying okay you are a helpful assistant and you would utilize given tool to generate book name in the fantasy fiction and romance genre and rest of the things are going to be same so here we are still using the same endpoint this is going to be beta chat completion dot parts under that we are passing our model after that actually we have to pass our system role and the message and here i'm using this particular function and why this is required because here you can see i have some spaces over here and here the details are coming the next line but when i'm passing it to a model i do not want these spaces to be there so we are using this particular package which is coming from this text wrap and next is going to be role of user content is going to be same what we have been passing in the response format which is going to be please provide a sample book name along with author now we want to use it for a different purpose to call our function instead of passing the response format we have to pass this tools and under this tools we have to pass our schema by using this pydentic function tool so instead of using the response format we are using this and and then the output is going to be generated as a function arguments under this pydentic function tool we can just pass our schema over here and then you can see the output what we have been printing so now it's different from what we have been printing earlier so earlier it was like message dot content because we are using this pydentic function tool so output would be a totally different and in this case is going to be this tool calls so let me just print it out first just to show you how the output is going to look like once we run this code the output is going to to come like this pass function tool under this you can see these are the functions under functions we are getting this argument what we are getting over here so that's why actually we cannot just fetch it using the message dot content the information is going to be under this tool calls and under this tool calls we have to navigate to all these arguments we have to take the data from here and then we have to invoke our function to loop over all this function argument so i'm using this enumerate method on top of tool calls and it is going to give me access of all the tool call what i have under it under this tool call i need to go to this function and then i need to go to this arguments and under this argument i am getting all this title author and genre i am going to take the genre from here and then pass it to my function which we have defined over here to get the output from this file so we know like once we go to this function dot arguments then we are going to get the access of all those arguments so let me just show you what is going to be output if i just go ahead and print the arguments and i will 
will just comment out other things if you are going to function dot arguments and you know looping over it we are going to get all the segments what we have been getting over here so we just got access to all these arguments and this is going to come like title author and genre now what i can do i can just take the genre from here because this is going to be input for our function so i'm just going to take a genre from here and pass it to my functions to get the details from this file which we have created to retrieve that value i'm just passing all these arguments into json.loads and then getting this particular key from here now once i get this particular key it's only going to give me this genre name and when i get this genre i can just pass it to the function so now we are getting a genre fantasy fiction and romance and if i go to book.json we do have entries for fantasy we do have one book then we do have fiction three books and we do have like one entry for romance also i can just go ahead and try to run this code now you can see like we have got the output from our file where actually it was related to fantasy and this book what we had was fantasy so the hobbit then we do have another book for romance which is going to be this one it's also matching and then we do have the fiction so this is how we can use this structured output tool support to invoke functions and this could be any functions and because the output is going to be in the given format so we know like what kind of output we are going to get and using those output as an input parameter for other functions we can invoke those functions to get the output so that's all what we have in this video thank you for watching